I want to show you a quick way to convert all the volumes in one CPG from one RAID configuration to another. So what I'm talking about there is if I was going from, let's say, a RAID 6 CPG that maybe I had in my fast class tier, maybe it was RAID 6 4 plus 2, and I decided I no longer wanted that. And I wanted all of those volumes, hundreds of volumes, converted from that RAID 6 to a RAID 5. Well, there's the hard way, which is creating another CPG and tune VBing each one of those volumes into the new CPG and then going back behind the process and doing a compact CPG to make sure that all the space has been cleared out of the old CPG so that you have the new space in the new CPG. But there's actually a faster way. So I'm just going to quickly go through that and hopefully this will help some people out there. So I'm just going to jump on one of these um, lab boxes here, just a second. All right, we'll just make sure. Now you can do this in the GUI. Um, I'm just going to do it on the, on the CLI. If you need it to be demonstrated in the GUI, just leave a comment and I'll come back later and do it in the GUI. Okay. So let's just make sure that I don't have any CPG with my name on it. I don't. So we'll do a create CPG type, let's say a RAID, let's say RAID 1, right? So set size 2. And we'll create the CPG name, let's see, 3pj.r1. Okay, so let's do show CPG 3pj. R1. All right, so it exists. Well, let's show LDs. No LDs yet. That's great. Okay. Well, once we assign a volume, we're going to get some more data here. So let's create a volume. If I can spell. Create VV. Say a TP VV, not FV, VV. Um, Yeah, TPJ R1, and then I think I give my volume name, 3, 3P, 3, 3PJ, VV1, 100 gig. Okay, now let's do a show LD again. All right, and now let's do um, details on that. Okay, so this is what's important here. All right, let me just clear that up. There we go. All right, so here's my LDs. We can see that what, what I want you to focus on is this SD part, all right? The SA part, this is the uh, shared administration or SNAP administration. Uh, I'm going to ignore that because that's, that's just my metadata. My actual data is stored down here, okay? And what I want you to pay attention to is that the RAID level is set for RAID, RAID 1 with a set size of 2, right, mirroring. Okay, we've got one volume in there right now. Well, let's create two more. All right, so I got three volumes. All right, three volumes, all TPVVs. They're all RAID 1. They're all like, residing in that. 3PJ R1 CPG. Okay, and that's all RAID 1. All right, RAID 1. Can't so uh, can't show a pointer on a black screen. It's all RAID 1. Set size 2. Okay. So now let's <clears throat> pardon me. Let's change that. So we're going to do a set CPG. And we're going to say this um, RAID 5 set size 4, right? 3 plus 1 now. And then I just specify the CPG name, 3PJ R1. Okay, done. Let's take a look at it. Nothing's changed. RAID 1, set size 2. So what do we do? Tune sys. Tune sys on that CPG. Oops. Do 
Do I want to tune it? Yes, it'll start the task. Do, do, do. Now we know we've got four LDs, right? We can see them here. Let me uh, highlight that. We can see them here, SD 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, right? 0, 0 0.0, all those, right? So let's just do a show task. And we'll see that it's tuning, right? And so it's active. We can see that it's active. All right, it hasn't actually started doing anything yet. Once it does, we'll see a, a you know, tune LD. Now, obviously there's no data here, so it's gonna take a lot less time. There's only three volumes. But what I'm trying to get across is that there's a much simpler way to do this conversion without all the tuned VVs. If you're gonna do all the volumes that are contained in a certain CPG, Okay, so here we can see that there, a tune LD has occurred, and we've got an active process on the 0.0, .0 LD, right? So the 0.0, .0 forgive me while I highlight all this, the 0.0, .0 is this first LD here. All right, now we're on 0 0.1, so that's the second LD. It'll take a few seconds. Okay, so those two are done. We're waiting for another tune LD background command to start up. Tune sys is still active. There's our tune LD background process again, and here's the uh, other LD, the 0 0.2. Zero .2 0.2 is done. Now we've just got one more LD that needs to be tuned. See, background process is active again. Should pull up the 0 0.3 one. There it is. Now that's done. I'll make sure that uh, tune sys completes. And we're looking for that tune sys where it currently says active to say done. Okay, so it says done. Now let's go back and look at our uh, show CPG details. Sorry about that, my screen locked up for just a second. That was weird. Okay, so we've completed our tunes. See that tune sys is finished. And let's go back and look at the details there. Looks like I'm locking up again. There we go. So here's our LDs. And we can see that we're now a RAID 5 configuration 3 plus 1. That's all there is to it. It's actually pretty easy. You only need to run TuneSys once to get the CPG to convert. All new volumes will take on that new RAID 5 3 plus 1 characteristic. And now you don't have to worry about tuning volumes. Now, obviously, if you've got one or two that you need to tune into another CPG because you're only converting those, great. But if you need to do the entire thing, just do it this way. You can still run a compact CPG on this if you want at the end, but it should be pretty clean because it just realigned all the LDs for you. Hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot.